There are many problems in this world that we have been unable to solve as humans alone. And if we can use artificial intelligence to help us solve some of those challenges, such as climate change, then that's where I really see a lot of uh, reason for optimism. We're cursed by distance and AI is a technology that can help us to more efficiently, more effectively deliver goods to our cities and to our regions. In my own research, we've been working with a large multinational company who have 800 trucks and we're able to reduce their fuel bill by 15%. That's a great monetary saving for that company, but it's 15% of fuel, that's all CO2 emissions. That's thousands of tons of CO2 every year that we're not putting up into the atmosphere. When you look at a data center, it's not just about the electricity that it's consuming, it's the water that it consumes. It's the diesel backup generators in case anything goes awry. So it's a very expensive, not just to run, but impact on the environment. So if we're going to look at how do we make this sustainable, then we have to think about it, in my humble opinion, as sustainable AI. How do we build to ensure that we don't have a knock-on effect to the environment as a consequence of building another large language model. When you look at Australia's capabilities, could we be sitting in the green data center space? Could we be sitting with this incredible host of renewables and creating an environment that is no knock-on effect to the environment and that could be open to the world? We have strong local governance all of those factors should make it a draw card for other nations. There are nations where they're just not simply big enough to house some of the sizes of the data centers. Why couldn't we do it here with all of the security um, that we bring to it and do it in a climate friendly way?